Hey guys, Picasso here for a live electronic music tutorial, episode 312, and of course this episode is presented, presented by WeMakeDanceMusic.com, the largest music production marketplace on the internet. Jesus, my joy is kind of broken right now, so I guess. So, yes, WeMakeDanceMusic.com, you have to check it out, right here, right there, right, maybe somewhere. There's over 500 producers that will bring you some project templates, which is unique. We have the largest collection on the web. We're the one who started the whole thing 10 years ago, guys. You can download the project, open it into your own DAW and see the mix, understand what's happening, the engineering, the composition, everything is in there. Sometimes there's even a mastering chain on the output if you want to really push it further. So guys, of course, I'm gonna make some progressive house today, 126 BPM and the result of this episode, which you hear right now, will be Put on aside as a template, as three as templates for Logic Race, Cable 10, and FL Studio. So, this track that I'm making, so I have some ideas. I will explain to you a little bit my processes. When I want to do an episode, I'm thinking, okay, like, what, what am I gonna do with this episode? And I'll try to form in my mind ideas. I put down a simple drum beat here, choose the key, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna put the bass line, a bit rolling bass line in the back. I'm gonna, I'm thinking, like, maybe some, some, some brass, some brass, like, dun, 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 something like this. Some little bit of like little arpeggio, maybe plucky kind of thing. And you know, I wrote these in my mind while I was preparing, I was having a coffee. I'm like, I'm building it up. So I know that when I come with you guys, I will be able to output. It might not be exactly what I had in mind, but at least I will output. You know, this is a way to create music that is, it's like conceptualizing what you want to do before you get into the flow of things. So if you maybe have limited time and you have studio session booked or you have somebody you work with that help you make music, Basically, this is this is the way to go. It's like how you want to make a drum and bass track, and you know maybe you still have difficulties making that sound. Well, you can get templates from our side. We make this music. In it, guys. So check this out. 126 BPM, 48,000 hertz. Logic corrects, of course. Uh, maybe I should put myself on some beats. So I like to pick a kit, like a kit in uh, in uh, drum machine designer that's quite universal. If you use Logic, you can see here all the kits are here. I mean, this is all you need to make music, electronic, hip hop, beats, anything. Logic is so so full. And of course, Alchemy here is like the internal Logic Press plugins are so so good. However, they take a little bit more work than let's say Spire or. or um, Serum, you know, and it's a bit of a more, I would say, a bit more of a professional thing than, than you know, the plugin you buy that do most of the work for you. So basically, I have this, and I'm thinking very rolly kind of bass, and I already said the key of my track, which will be the root key of the kick here, which is, uh, let me check because I, I uh, it's a, a sharp. So I'm gonna take this actually to create the bass line. Check this out, guys. Poof. I think I'm a little bit too low. I'm gonna go here. This is not the pattern I want. So basically, I'm gonna write the bass line in MIDI instead of uh, instead of composing it. So I'm thinking. I think I'm not triggering all the notes here because it's a little bit too long. So we'll make sure that they're not overlapping over each other. And after that, I will do it again here. I'm thinking so, so if I just so let's say the kick is hitting and after that the bass hits or anything, you know, I think I think it's gonna fill the groove. Now let's go in here. I could also sidechain it with the kick and put the hit on the first bit, but I will not do that, I will do something else. A little bit later. It's rolly, it's kind of nice. I feel I feel it would be cool to go a little bit deeper. I would say <clears throat> I don't even know where can I change the grid to be more refined here, guys. This is like as funny as it gets. Smart 16th? Now this is just the snap, it's not the time 32. No, it doesn't. So this is this is how it will. So I cannot I cannot really put it any more precise than that. I think this is 16. So what I wanted to do is to make a very sharp kind of rolly. Oh no, I'm on 16, which just doesn't work. So I'm going to put it smart. 
what I wanted to do is to put two hits like this, like maybe a little bit hot. No, not, not good. No, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep with the original idea. Maybe, maybe I'm thinking maybe if I oop, if I extend this one here and I get a bit more length out of it, just so it overlap a little bit on top of the kick for these. Of course, for that I have to make sure that I have actually more. soul on this guys maybe I'll make the full pattern and then I will add some accent in there to It's the way this bass hits, so I'm gonna drop the side chain first. Uh, oh, UAD find a way to put his uh, their preset in <laughs> the default of Logic, which mm, don't really like very much. Okay, use the side chain. A little bit better. A little bit of side chain. I think I'm gonna just straight up copy this one and go. Whoa. Ooh. So the last two, I think I'll go higher. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I think I will just join these two here. I think I'll drop these. Something a bit weird with the Yep, that I like. Yeah, tweak it a little bit. I'm gonna go into the comp here. Faster attack. Mm -hmm. A bit more like a four to one ratio to really compress it. Then let's check what we have. Ooh. That's gonna be good a bit later. That's just the gate here. That works. Okay. I'm already tempted to start automating this. I'm gonna wait, so I'm gonna make it a bit longer. If I want to make my kind of brass melody kind of thing. I think, uh, yeah, I think I'll go for it. I think I'll just drop a channel automation and put it on touch and this dirt sweep here. Oh yeah, loving this. Did I record something? Yes, it is here. I'm gonna start at zero. I'm gonna go up here. To me, this is a little bit too much noise, I think, in this. I'm gonna check here. There's no noise here. There's probably noise in the oscillator somewhere. So I think my idea will concretize, guys, like I just told you when I started. Basically, I think this is great. Move on to the next part of the track. Alchemy again, leave the compressor on there. 
gonna go into brass. I'm gonna try to find something chuggy, something. I'm gonna start at the bottom. this actually I'm gonna use it a bit later come back to it I'm gonna continue replicate it leave it there it's not what I'm looking for for this particular part I almost forget that I was more in sharp This is very kind of 1980s. Oh, loading, loading. No, nothing's coming. Ah, okay, it is there. Ooh, I think I found my sound. I was thinking more of a kind of a longer kind of stab like wow 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 but I think this this got me so check this out and then for the groove I'll keep this here So, listening to this, I immediately want to take this little chunk here. Oh, somehow the volume... Ah, not the volume guys, sorry. So, what I want to do is I really like this key here with the tone it gives to the track. So, I'm gonna... Another idea that I will apply. I think I think it should work. So I'm thinking straight up this, this here, this here, and I have to make sure that those are long enough so they're gonna trigger the, tr the, the tremolo from the bass.
Logically, I want this to also be triggered by the tremolo, so I will extend this one here. I did the wrong one. Okay, let's do this. I don't know if it's gonna work from one MIDI part to the other. Not quite, so join them. So it would be good to have this hit once every, let's say once every eight bars. So this is one of those episodes that things go well. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm gonna try to push it, this one here, a little further. Super powerful, wow. So I think I'm gonna create a bit more room for the bass to shine, so I'm gonna cut the lows here. And this one, and in this one too. I'll leave a little bit more mud body from this one. But still not so much because this is not our main bass, our main bass is up there. I'm gonna actually gonna go into our main bass now. Check out the frequencies. It's shining, I'm gonna boost a little bit here. I'm looking for that chug. So while we're at the brass sound, I will go in here. And is this sound that I was playing earlier? not intended but it sounds really good so I kind of hit the key that I don't want it to but I not, not all the keys 
she's just this one So like I said, when I started I want kind of a background kind of melody here Still a bit too much high frequency in there for my liking it onto a certain frequency I think a bit more delay let's drop this main lead here I think we have a lot of room to play with with this one here too for the intro and other parts. I'm gonna do a little automation too. does this again so the automation doesn't align with the, the time of the automation I think there's a setting in logic I have to change kind of cool with like like this somehow so if I raised up a little bit that that does definitely create like a bit more feel the sound is quite cool give it a little more reverb and I'm gonna drop my compressor onto the reverb too side chaining the reverb get it to pump hard and then drop the volume a little bit so I think we definitely have great elements now can we open this a bit more oh yeah we can if we want it at least or make it very short and kind of more stabby so guys is that pass as progress bumps? drop a comment below and then people are gonna say it's trance I'm like bro it's 126 then they're gonna say it's slow trance I'm like no I still don't think it's slow trance should listen to beatport a little bit more but no time okay time to drop a bit more percussions in the mix i'm gonna do a quick hat everywhere but where my main open hats are so it's gonna roll like this if you do percussions like this guys make it make sure it's not too much in the front just have to kind of support a little bit like this I hear some tracks that this is so and I was also like this actually before it's so so prevalent it's so much in your face that it, it's it's ridiculous oh, okay uh oh I heard some thumbs yeah yeah they're here here you heard it it's not work zoom on usually I always do this first right here track zoom so those are nice drums for sure create a bit of a sequence I think I'm gonna put another one there Whoa. 
was a big zoom. And if I close this, I do this, it should zoom into the screen. Well, this is not working quite well. Something's a bit odd about the display, but uh, okay. Another time, some shakers, absolutely. Oof, oof. One more, full on, and then I'll put them a little bit off with a stereo delay. That means I just put a delay on them, so they're not 100% on time. And I'm gonna put the mix, so it's gonna be so they're kind of off. The shaker shouldn't be really exactly on time. So what we could, I think, I think what we're missing in there, guys, is a pad. Some kind of long, kind of ambience, drony kind of pad thing. I'm gonna do it now. This track is very powerful, guys. It's, I can barely stay here. I just want to get up and dance, so. Good sign. This, take my bus, send it to the server verb. I'm gonna go, I think I will actually go into soundscape, pads, soundscape, pads, pad. I'm gonna stick with the pad. in there. Did I record something or it just all went? Oh no, it's here, okay. Should I make it a bit longer, maybe? So it kind of goes overlap a little bit over the other part here. Let's hear the other versions. I think I want to probably take all these and double the key. I want a bit more presence. I'm gonna do that by literally doubling the polyphony here. I'm 
think the, the first one was the best one. Machine. What is this machine control, guys? Ooh. Trippy. Let's go and hear what we have. A bit of noise. Just enough machine will do. Bring it back. Guys, wow, I'm having fun right here. Whoa. Sometimes things align so I can deliver you some tracks that are, to me, straight up magical. That I come down and just like poof, drop it like this. Poof. Where are we at? 32 minutes. So I think I will build a bit of an intro with you guys. So that I have the filter that I made. I don't think I'll start with this anyway. We already have more than enough element to start the track right here. This is a bit loud. So let's say, you know, this is kind of already exciting. So I'm doing that, I think I will drop it here. I'll drop all the percussions for four bars. Try to create a moment. I think, I think it would be a moment. Not even with this lead actually. for this Even touching this yet, I, I, I don't want to really. So, guys, if you know what this sound like, drop a comment below. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just in for the love of music, guys. All right, guys, I will continue and make. The solid template with this for you guys for Logic Evil 10 FS. I hope you guys enjoy. A lot more to come, guys. And until next time, may the sound be with you.